So I did the MAME tutorial a couple of months back, and there was an outcry of people who said, this is fantastic, but this doesn't solve my specific issue with sp very specific arcade hardware X, Y, Z. And, and I, I get it, it's a little confusing. Most people don't know though, however, that importing other arcade platforms into Launchbox is just as simple as it was when I did the, the main tutorial. Everything for the import process is roughly the same, with a few exceptions where you would want to use Scrape As instead of the arcade platform, but for the most part, it's all the same. However, I, I hear you and I, I get it. Uh, arcade systems are very, very, very confusing. And there is more that I can show you instead of just how to import the ROMs. What emulator to use, what settings to use, and how to kind of configure it so that you're ready to go. And I realize that that might be the more confusing portion instead of just importing. So, finally, today on Unbroken Software Studio Tutorials, I'll show you how to get other arcade systems up and running in LaunchBox. Specifically today, we are taking a look at the Sega Model 3 through Supermodel. Now there are tons of other arcade boards and systems and ROM sets out there that I will cover in the future, but just for today, we are taking a look at the Sega Model 3. So first thing is first, download a Sega Model 3 ROM pack. Now my ROM pack is 2.52 gigabytes in size. Uh, yours can be bigger or smaller. If it's bigger, it uh, may not be a bad thing, especially if you are finding a more updated Sega Model 3 ROM pack than I have. But this is the one that I have and it works as far as I can tell. Now we need the Super Model emulator. Head on over to emucr.com. The link to this build will be in the description below, but if you are viewing this at a later date, there may be an updated version of Supermodel on the website. So scroll down to where it says Arcade and then click the More button. It'll bring you to a list of emulators. And the Supermodel emulator should be in here with various different updates. And as you can see, it gets updated fairly often every couple of days. So chances are when you view this in the future, the 1010 build will probably be way outdated. Whatever version you download, uh, make sure you download the x86 or x64 version for your operating system. Go ahead and open up the link here and it'll give you a couple of different links of where to download it. Now personally, I use the Zippy Share uh, link. Uh, it's quick, there's no waiting, um, there's no throttling, it's quick, there's, it doesn't give you adware or anything like that, so this is a really, really good file sharing uh, site. So go ahead and just download it through the Zippy Share, place it wherever you want, extract the emulator into a folder, and then now we are ready for LaunchBox. So let's go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. We're gonna click Next, Add Files. We're gonna navigate to where we have our Sega Model 3 ROMs. We're gonna click on a game, Control A to highlight them all, and we're gonna click Open. Once it's processed your list, go ahead and click Next. Platform for imported ROMs. We are gonna go down to the Sega Model 3. Now this does have a, a platform on the database, and as you can see, it doesn't have all of the uh, images. Once you have it set up, click next, where it says choose an emulator. This should be blank. Go ahead and click add. You're going to type in the emulator name, which is Supermodel, and then we're going to click browse, and you're going to navigate to where you downloaded the supermodel.exe. Now, this is uh, optional. You don't need to do this, but I don't uh, use, or I ra rather, I don't like to run most of my emulators in full screen, but I want the window to be as big as I possibly can. And Supermodel just runs at the default resolution for the Supermodel, which I believe is 496 by 384 that you can see here. So I took those values and I multiplied them by 2.5 times. I did mo I did try multiplying it by three, but then the window would be bigger than the resolution of my screen, which is just 1080p. So I did 2.5 times for the, the horizontal and vertical pixels. The default command line parameters, you don't need anything if you just want to get this to run, but I did want the window to be bigger. So dash res equals 1240 by 960. You could set that to 1280 by 960 since that is also a common resolution, but I wanted to keep the aspect ratio the same. So I multiplied its default resolution. If you would like to run the emulator in full screen, just add dash full screen at the end. 
and you can either not have a, a res option or you can increase it or you could put 1920 by 1080 there if you would like with the full screen option if you would want. Once you have your default command line parameter set up the way that you would like, go over to the associated platforms tab, double click and add Supermodel 3 into the associated platforms uh, list and then double check or check off rather the default emulator box and then click OK. The choose emulator box should now show up with Supermodel, click next. Use the files in their current location. We're gonna use the LaunchBox Games database. We're gonna look for every file. It's gonna log you into Emu Movies. I'm gonna also keep the option for all of these files as well. And then here, we are going to force using MAME metadata. Now this is what I believe most people overlook when they are importing their games. So we wanna make sure that we check this because this is still using the MAME metadata. Now, it got, does get a little tricky. You can leave this at default and import these all that you would want. Uh, skip games unplayable in MAME is automatically unchecked because we're not using MAME. So MAME does have different compatibility uh, compared to something like Supermodel. Supermodel is very, very, very specific for Sega Model 3 games. But we want to try and import as much as possible. Uh, it, it gets a little confusing. Personally, I would rather import everything and then like remove duplicates uh, because one file, one ROM file does not equal one game. Uh, one game could have several ROM files. Uh, it's kind of confusing. So, I mean, keep the settings the way that you would like. You can, you can keep these all checked. You can, you can change the region if you would like, or you can import all clones, all selected ROMs, regardless of duplication. That also works, or you can just, just import the originals. So, if you want to import the most possible ROMs, import all clones and uncheck all the checkboxes and click next. You'll have your list of games, go ahead and click finish, and it'll start to download all of the metadata and images and video and music that is available on the Launchbox Games database and Emo Movies. So yeah, there were a couple of extra uh, files that were imported, it's just... I don't know. It's it's hard to try and, and, and figure out what's what. So like Virtua Striker 299 has a couple of different revisions. That's, you know, it, so yeah, that that's what I mean by it just gets confusing and, and you don't know which one of these you might want to want to use. Revision B would probably be the best one for 99.1 Virtua Striker to 99.1. So you could delete these entries delete the entry do not delete the rom file if this pops up click no so it's a fairly small rom set for you to to tailor specifically how you want whereas mame is very large and unwieldy where you would want to really use the sorting options this one is small enough that you could just realistically kind of just fix yourself if that makes any sense so we have everything set up Let's check out a game. Let's check out Star Wars Trilogy. I actually love this game. I remember playing this in the arcade. My local arcade used to have, when I was in middle school, uh, $10 Unlimited Tuesdays, where the arcade was completely <laughs> unlimited. Uh, so yeah. This is a... Uh, Definitely nostalgic for me. Ten dollars unlimited, where you could get the you could get access to the uh, arcade completely unlimited. The go karts. I could not remember for the life of me what they were called. So now, obviously, it doesn't look you know or it doesn't sound the best. Uh, this, this this emulator is in flux constantly, but uh, it's working, and uh, it's very nostalgic. I'm just using the mouse and the keyboard for some things, and uh, it does have controller support. Uh, if you would like to use a controller. If you do want to know the uh, the keyboard and the joystick commands, uh, it is in the supermodel.ini and you can change them as well. So there you go, that's how you get the Sega Model 3 up and running in Supermodel. It's actually a little bit more simple than some of the other systems that I've been working on today. So there will be more systems to come in the future. So you can look forward to Neo Geo and the CPS2 and CPS3 and all that kind of good stuff here on the channel. So if you would like to get notified when those videos get released, please give us a uh, subscribe with the button below this video. We would greatly appreciate it. If this tutorial helped you out at all, please give us a thumbs up as well. 
to let people know that this tutorial is good. My name is Brand. The link to my channel is in the description below. I do lots of gaming content, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, I would appreciate a subscribe over there as well. Remember, Freaks and Geeks, to play more games, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.